Alright, maybe we'll stop at the Hubble Trading Post. It's always an interesting stop. If it's open, it was closed due to COVID the last couple of times I went through here. So we'll see if they've reopened it. I hope so. Well, it looks like it's open. This has been closed for the last two years. Every time I've come through here, it's been closed. So... We'll check it out. Um, trading posts like this were immensely important in the past, and they still serve a function today. Um, this is a place where the, the Navajo could come to sell their wares, you know, their 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 rugs, their wool, their uh, handmade silver jewelry, whatnot. And they could buy the essentials of life, you know, flour, sugar, lard. Um, they could uh, trade livestock, horses, and uh, the Hubble Trading Post here has a long and uh, illustrious history. You might want to Google it, might want to look at the Wikipedia page. I'm going to go inside and have a little look around. It looks like they're still requiring masks here. So I'll get a mask out. And uh, we'll see if filming is allowed. I'm not sure if filming is allowed inside or not. And also, the temperature has dropped precipitously since I left um, the place in Arizona. The temperature has dropped a lot. So um, not only am I going to have a comfort break here, I think I'm going to change into long pants. Shorts were not a good option for this trip. Further north I go, colder it's getting. Yeah, this place has been here for quite a while. That down at that end, it's stables, and uh, over here, it's it's general store and whatnot. So, we'll go have a look around. So the staff has asked me not to film any of them or any of the pictures or paintings on the wall. But other than that, I can film. So the last room had uh, rugs for sale and this is uh, Navajo jewelry for sale. We have uh, Navajo made pottery too. Okay, so uh, got to see some of what goes on in the in the in the trading post. There was a lot I didn't film just uh, to try and obey uh, their request not to film people and not to uh, film the paintings and pictures on the wall. So, uh, but we got to see the room with the rugs and the sheepskins in it, and we got to see the uh, the, the the Navajo silver jewelry, and we got to see. Uh, the basically the general store part of it. And I'm gonna come over here to the visitor center and look around too.
Woo, it's windy. Okay, so um, there's a Navajo lady running the visitor center and another Navajo lady in there doing some actual weaving. And um, I couldn't film or photograph either of them, but I got you some still photos of what's going on in there. And now I'm going to change into some warmer clothes before I continue driving north. It is getting cold. Okay, unfortunately I can't linger here too long. Um, if you'd like to visit the Hubble Trading Post, I, I encourage it. There's a lot to see more than you saw in my video. You can take a walking tour around uh, the site. There's a lot of outbuildings to see, the stables, whatnot. Um, uh, and of course there's a lot you didn't see simply because I wasn't allowed to film it. So, you know, if you come out here you can see a lot more than you'll see on this brief visit I made. But hey, at least they're open again. That's great. They were shut down due to COVID for a long time. In fact, much of the reservation, and not just the Navajo reservation, but a lot of the Indian reservations out here in the West were shut down due to COVID. You'd be on a highway running through the reservation, and every time you'd come to a crossroads, there'd be barricades. You weren't getting off the highway. You know, if you didn't live up one of those roads, you weren't going up there. And, uh, of course, this, this was all shut down. But now it's open again. So if you're in the area, come check it out. Ganado, Arizona. Hubble Trading Post. It was an incredible, like I said before, an incredibly important thing to the Navajo people to have these trading posts. It uh, gave them access to um, products from the wider world off, off of the reservation. And it also gave them access to markets in the wider world off the reservation for their products. You know, their wool, their rugs, their pottery, their jewelry, whatnot. And uh, to some extent, trading posts still do still serve those functions. Not so much the Hubble anymore. I mean, you did see all the stuff in there that's for sale, and you didn't even see all of it. There's a lot. Excellent Navajo weaving, um, excellent Navajo jewelry, uh, pottery, uh, these days they're mainly selling to tourists here at the Trading Post. And they, you know, the Trading Post is located in this town of Ganado, so they have other shopping options to pick up their staples. But there are still a lot of Trading Posts out in the back of beyond still serving the same function. You know, um, a place where the Navajo can sell their wares and, and buy the staples they need to survive. So, uh, okay. We're back on uh, 191, heading north. Um, I really couldn't linger there too long because I've got a lot of miles to cover. Oh, it's windy too. Wow, it is windy. It's not so bad when it's a tailwind, which it mostly is heading north, but sometimes it's a crosswind. <laughs> it wants to blow the truck around. 